What's up geeks? This is me Sabir. You guys are watching Geeky Fight and in today's video I'm going to tell you top 5 screen recording apps for Android which will help you to record your gameplay, tutorials or anything special which came up on your screen so that you share it with your friends. So before starting the list, I want to tell you that you can also use Android's built-in screen recording feature but only caveat is that it doesn't have many customization options. For example, you cannot change the bitrate, you cannot change the resolution and you don't have any control over the formats as well. Hence, I'm making this video telling you top 5 Android screen recording apps. And let's start with our first app. So our first app is AC Screen Recorder. You can download it from the Play Store. Once you download it, just open it and this app has multiple options, multiple customization features which will be enabled once I give all these permissions and here you go. So you get this ball, action ball which you could also customize and it will help you to start recording, save your recording or share it with your friends. And at the bottom you get the storage available before you start recording the screen and if I just go over here, here will be my screenshots and these are tools which I can use to customize my screen recording. For example, if I want to edit video, I can directly do it right from here. Or if I want to edit image, I can do that as well. And uh, so there are multiple options available in this app. So here you go. So you can change the resolution of the recording. You can change the quality of the recording as well as the frame can be set as well and audio source can be changed and the orientation can be set to landscape and portrait depending on your preferences. So my friends, this is one of the most famous and go-to screen recorder app in the Android domain. If you haven't heard of it, then what are you doing my friend? Go download it and use it. Do let me know in the comment section if you like it or not. The only caveat with this AC screen recorder app is that it needs subscription to work at an optimum level. But free version is good enough for the casual users. But if you want those premium features, you need to pay for that. Our next app is X Recorder app by InShots and if you don't know about InShots, InShots is one of the most popular video editing app for mobile phones. And now let's see how the Recorder app is, Screen Recorder app is. Once downloaded, tap on open and it will take some time to load up. So as you can see, this is kind of a layout we get on our home screen of this app and let's check out some settings first and if i just go over here and default it is set to 720p and if i just tap over here i can change the resolution quality as well and fps as well but again the caveat is you need to buy a subscription to unlock premium features of this app but nevertheless this app comes with a lot of features and tweakings which you can use to record your gameplay of course if you want to get viral. So you also get this quick action ball which you can use to navigate directly to the home or if you want to change the settings you can do it right from here. You can start screen recording tapping on this button and of course you just can go to the quick settings and change what you want to and if you want to you can just take a screenshot as well. Okay so this app works on a premium subscription based model hence most of the features are free but they are capped at very low settings if you want to use top utmost optimum settings for your phone you need to buy a subscription of this app so back in my teenage days i wanted to do some serious gaming so i bought a phone and that is of course poco f1 a legendary one i know that but it didn't came with a good screen recorder app so i went with Moby Sin. Mobizen is one of the most versatile and one of the oldest screen recording app for Android and you can just download it and once download it tap on open. So this is the layout we get a quick ball setting from which you can start screen recording take a screenshot or just go into the menu. If I tap on it this is the layout I get of this app and here we go in the settings and let's see what are the most upgradable setting you can do in the premium based model and this is free i haven't bought anything and if i just change the resolution you can just go up to 720p hd that's it if you need 1080 let's see if you can do it yes you can do it and this is bitrate and right now it is set to 5m 
but you can just go up to 24 am and it will bump up your screen recording quality and lastly sps and you can just set it to auto or 60 fps or 50 depending on your preference so let's check other settings as well if i just go down you can also select the sound input and you can also change the look of your quick ball and you can select a picture if you want to mini mode etc etc so there are multiple settings which you can tweak to get the optimum result for your screen recording and one thing i want to add that if you are recording screens for a long session or you are working with them professionally i would suggest you buy the subscription hence it also helps the developer to develop this app better for you guys as well as you get those premium features our next app is v recorder and this app is quite similar when you compare it with the ac screen recorder so you can download it from the play store and once downloaded tap on open and it will ask for some permissions just give it and let me just do it right here in front of you guys and it will take some time to load up and here we are again we get this quick action ball from which we can switch into the home quick settings settings or we can also start recording our screens as well as let's go into the settings and check out what all the settings we have right now so by default it is locked at 720p if you want to use 2k resolution you need to buy subscription another app with subscription model available and uh, right down you also get the option to change the fps orientation how much free storage you have if you want to remove watermark you need to buy subscription so all in all this screen recorder app is quite similar like az if you want to try something new you can just go and download the recorder app from the play store and lastly we have vidma screen recorder this is a free simple screen recorder app which you can get from play store and it has some customization option which helps you to control your screen recording quality so you can download this vidma screen recorder app from the play store and that too free just like i said once downloaded tap on open and this is the layout we get of the home screen of the app and here we go how much free storage we have and directly from here i can start my screen recording also we get this quick setting ball which is different from others as it doesn't have that circular ui but you get the option of customization home and of course screen recording and screen shot and let's go into the settings and just tap on the video settings and of course there are multiple options you can customize again it is a premium app if you want to record your screen recording in 1080 pixel you need to buy subscription of the app similarly if you want high fps you want to do the same and if i just go into the audio settings you can select internal audio microphone audio internal audio and microphone and you can just mute the audio for screen recording and let's go back and if you want to remove the watermark again you need to buy subscription so there are multiple things multiple good things you can do with buying the subscription of these apps that's all guys these were my favorite top five screen recorders app which you can use on android and share your gameplay or tutorials or anything else you want to if you like the video make sure to like it and do let me know which one is your favorite in the comment section and while you are down there make sure you subscribe to the channel press the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any such app list like this on this note this is me samir signing off and i'm going to see you in the next one till then Tada, see ya, bye bye and stay connected.